Hell hath frozen over, and we're back for round two. I mean, when you have hundreds of challenges to sift through, how could we not? If you missed the previous top 10, check it out. This is the 2.0 version, which means, if I did my math correctly, it's basically the top 20. Four with nine equals out. But I'm sorry, yeah. No, okay. The first clutch immunity win on this list is mirroring the previous video, and that's because it's also from season 25, Philippines, with the Brazilian dragon herself, Abby Maria. At the final seven, Abby was all alone, outnumbered six to one, and the only thing saving her at this point was that immunity necklace. She did buy herself an advantage at the auction, which gave her an auto advance to the final stage of the challenge, basically meaning that she didn't have to compete against the entire field, just the top two. So it narrowed her odds from 1 in 7 to 1 in 3. Likewise, Carter was carrying 10% of his body weight in sandbags because he just likes to make the game really difficult for him, also because there was a trivia component that he failed at, but both Abby and Penner managed to get the answers right, so kudos to them. Abby was able to slide her way through the course faster than the two guys, which is still really impressive, and then she went on to win immunity, freezing hell over in the process. You know, at least I'm gonna go out graciously or stay in the game as a very smart, hardworking fighter. A warrior, really. Abby slides down. Abby yeah. wins immunity. Is yeah. safe to tonight's tribal council. What a journey it has been. You went from being on top, to being on the bottom, to being an outcast, to being safe. I really wanted to find some of the best one-off wins in the show's history, and while several were included in the previous video, I think one of them that stands out is Troy Zan's win at the final nine after he was just blindsided with his ally Jay leaving in the previous episode. He had suspected something was amiss or afoot, and then played his idol, was now basically all alone, and was doing anything he could to survive. He's moving on to the final! This is it my island! You can't beat me! Uh, please. You're not getting oh, like oh my that. god, please knock this hold out. Yes! yes! Troy Dam wins immunity! Yes, 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 yes! Don't with me. <laughs> it changes my whole day. It changes everybody else's happy-go-lucky mood to now what? It's like their worst case scenario. Their worst case scenario. Another one of my favorites that does not get enough love is from season 15 China, when PG seizes an underdog win at the final six, saving herself from near doom. She was in a 4v2 situation and likely goes next if not for this win, while it only buys her three more days, it's still better than the alternative. She had to wade through a swamp and answer trivia about the location, and considering that she was against challenge bees such as Amanda and Courtney, stiff competition makes this win stand out even more. And with that, PG wins immunity. I never would have believed it. For the second time, PG wins individual immunity. I've been like underdogs this whole time I've been here. You know, honestly, like I can't believe I won. I'm still crying about it. But perhaps the stiffest competition comes when Spencer wins both at the final six and final five of season 28 Kageon. After beating out Tasha, a player who had won the previous three immunities, had Tasha won her fourth straight, Spencer assuredly goes. But instead, he won it and sent Tasha packing. This win was pretty similar to PG with her win in China that I just talked about, as she sent Eric, her lone ally, home with her win. But unlike PG, Spencer went on to win at the final five as well, guaranteeing his spot in the final four. And Spencer was against Wu, arguably the next best challenge competitor, Tony, the guy who would later prove to actually be a challenge beast all along, and Cass, the player who has the single greatest challenge comeback in all of the show, which was actually against Spencer in the final four. Spencer beat all of them, and he needed to, and that's clutch. It also helps that Tony just had no idea how to do a slide puzzle. I know that I am still target number one. So even with everything going on at camp, I need immunity, and I'm gonna fight my ass off for it. This is all over the place, rapidly. Does he know what he's doing? He just lost his mind after 36 days. Tony continues to work at a feverish pace. Tony's huge lead slipping away. Jeff, Jeff! Spencer thinks he has it! 
An incredible comeback! Yes! yes! Spencer wins immunity! Yes! Guaranteed a spot in the final four! Because puzzles are a huge component in survivor challenges, it helps to know how to do them, especially when a million dollars are on the line. So the fourth clutch win is exactly that. It's from season 23, South Pacific. It's when Sophie clutched the last win of the season by beating Ozzy in the puzzle at the end of the challenge. Ozzy was ahead of the pack the entire time. He had a pretty sizable lead going into the puzzle portion, but Sophie came from behind and solved the puzzle faster than he did, guaranteeing he would be eliminated in fourth and she would likely take home the million dollars. Coach turns to watch now. Ozzy still fighting. Sophie wins final immunity. Ah, so close. So far away. Yet again. But just like in the previous video, Sophie is not the first winner to clutch a challenge when she needed it. Several other winners come to mind when it comes to winning when they faced the most heat, such as Tom Westman in season 10 Palau, who won the final three immunity challenges of the season when he happened to be in the most peril. There was a decent chance Tom would get voted out at each of these rounds, especially at the final four and definitely at the final three. And had he not won at any moment? he's out. Tom is particularly noteworthy because he set the record for the longest challenge in Survivor history, almost 12 hours crouching on that buoy against Ian. To the point where I have heard both Tom and Ian suffered nerve damage for it going so long. Tom has it right! Yes. Tom wins immunity! <laughs> Tom raises his flag. Tom wins immunity! Ian steps down, Tom wins final immunity. How about Bob from season 17, Gabon, when he won the final seven, six, and five immunity challenges as he was on the bottom and his alliance was getting picked off. While he didn't outright need the necklace at seven, he definitely needed it at six and five as he was at that point the last man standing and was facing a five and four person firing squad, all but ready to take him out. Bob won a blindfold challenge obstacle course involving matching a mask puzzle, as well as one of my favorite mazes in all of survival. A massive challenge that featured digging, walking over a maze balance beam, untying knots, a second massive hut maze where he had to find three bags out of 25 possible locations and then finally do a puzzle. And he was against younger players like Maddie, Kenny, and even Susie. And don't for one second discount Susie Smith. Not only was she the fastest digger, she also won a pretty clutch immunity at the final four. You know what? Consider her an honorable mention in this video. Launches it. And a good roll. It's in and out of the center. Bob oh. wins immunity. Good job. Bob thinks he has it. Bob is right. Bob wins immunity. Four challenges in a row. I'm 57 years old. It felt real good. Bob wins immunity. Five straight challenges. The final winner I want to highlight for 2.0 is Erica from season 41, who won a clutch immunity at the final 10 when the merge tribe was split in half and she was faced with a painful endurance competition. Erica was basically in a final five situation and very much needed this immunity. Had she not, she would have been voted out. Shannon and Ricard controlled this vote with their extra vote, and Ricard even told me privately that Erica was a goner if she wasn't immune. And if Erica isn't there, we're getting a very different outcome for this season, like potentially Ricard winning, which also almost happened anyway, except uh, Erica also won that final five immunity and foiled Ricard's winning plans. Very clutch in both rounds. Everyone's obsessed with Xander because he's got the idol, but I want to get rid of Erica. I feel like she's probably one of the smarter players in the game and I don't trust her, not even a little bit. On the back of it, your hand, right hand. Nasir is out, Erica yeah. wins individual yeah. immunity. Oh my gosh, I've just dreamed of this moment since I was a kid. I'm done with the winners for now, so let's turn our attention to the almost wins, the could-ofs and would-ofs. From season 19, Samoa, we saw Brett, a guy who was digitally inserted into the season post-production, who went on to win immunity at the final seven, six, and five, almost foiling the underdog narrative of the Foa Foa tribe who entered the merge down in numbers four to eight. He was kind of the final boss of the season in a way, except he seemed like a pretty nice guy. Maybe he was the hero. Wait, 
Are we the baddies? Brett was the last purple player left and needed immunity every time that he won it. His ally Monaco was taken out at seven because he was immune. Then Shambo was set adrift at the final six after again he was immune. And then finally Foa Foa was forced to cannibalize itself after Mike Tyson, or sorry, Brett won yet again at the final five. It only took until the final four for his perilous purple pixels to fade away into the distance. The only thing I'm banking on is uh, really winning another immunity challenge because if I don't win, I'm probably gonna be the next person to go home. We have to get rid of Brett. Brett wins individual immunity. Brett lining up his last number took him a long time, but if he's right, he wins. Is he? Yes. Brett wins immunity. You start getting weak in the mind, thinking you can't beat him like he's stepping in the ring with Mike Tyson. He's no Mike Tyson, he's Brett. Brett has it, Brett wins immunity. Yeah. Similar to 1.0's video with Mike, let's end this one with another challenge beast who needed immunity at several points. But unlike Mike, this person didn't win. From season 34, Game Changers, we have Brad Culpepper. It's important to recall that at the final nine, when Brad won his first immunity, he was under fire and slated to go home there. It was only after he won and was taken off the board as a potential boot that everything flipped and Sierra was sniped by Sarah. It's very possible Brad goes if not for this win, and then he continued his challenge dominance, winning immunity at the final seven, six, and then five and four, tying the record of five immunities in one season, putting himself in the pantheon of challenge beasts, and ultimately finishing the season in the same place as his wife on her second run. Fun bit of trivia, both Culpeppers swap placements in their two seasons. Survivor, it's like poetry. Culpepper wins individual immunity. Culpepper wins individual immunity. Pick somebody else, people. You clearly felt in trouble tonight. Clearly. Culpepper wins individual immunity and reward. Culpepper wins his Buddy. fourth Buddy. individual immunity. Culpepper wins his fifth individual immunity, guaranteed a spot at the final tribal council. And it's good to be the king. And those are what I consider to be the top 20 most clutch immunity challenge wins in Survivor. And like before, let me know of some other clutch wins out there because let me tell you again, I could definitely look at a top 30 for this topic. Either way, a huge thank you to my patrons for coming up clutch again every month. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. Don't forget to get in the zone on your way out and I will see you in the next one. Once I train for the challenges by playing Eye of the Tiger and climbing up these stairs and literally carrying my family on my back. Rob struggling to get up these steps. He is literally carrying his family on his back. Mariano wins immunity. Uh. No, 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 relax, man. Uh, no. Oh, no. Oh. I had to literally give everything I have. Afterwards, I thought I was gonna die.